friends, it is Isaac Hayes bringing you a brand new video and today I'm bringing you guys the 1.16 Infinite Warfare patch notes. This update just came out today and it's a pretty decent size so I'm going to go over the most important things that you're going to notice and the new things that were added within this update. If you guys do enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Let's try to hit like a million and two likes and I'll butter my bread with butter on a Wednesday night or something like that. Subscribe if you are new. We're really close to 5,000 subscribers and I have a special video coming out for the 5k special and let's waste no time and get right into this patch notes. The article that I'm getting my information from will be linked down in the description so you can see all of the bug fixes and every single little thing that was new and fixed in this update. So if you want to see everything, I'm just going to go over the most important things. You can go check out that article. But anyway, now let's get into the patch notes. So this patch update was about two gigabytes in size. So it's a pretty decent update. And some of the new things that were added in this update is the Ken Jeong voiceover pack and the CWL COD World League personalization pack. The CWL Championship Premium Personalization Pack includes a taunt featuring the championship trophy, an animated camo, a warfighter championship rig, a weapon accessory, animating calling card, and an emblem. So there's a lot of things for 500 COD points right there. Some of the things that were fixed and updated in this update were gestures. All cosmetic gestures can now be performed while sprinting, so it looks like you can be running around doing gestures now. They adjusted the blackout grenade to bring its power level and overall consistency closer to that of the jammer grenade, so I believe that means that they buffed it or they nerfed it, but either way, I usually use the jammer grenade, so maybe I might try out the blackout grenade now. There's a fix for the voiceover line, last alive, not playing for the second team with one player left in search and rescue and search and destroy modes. There's a fix for an error that could occur when a guest player attempts to open the friends list in the menu during gameplay on Xbox One. There's a fix for players being stuck on the purchasing supply drop screen if they repurchase another drop while the loot ceremony screen is running in the background. That actually happened to me a long time ago. The issue where gameplay audio for Defender and Uplink will occur in the winner's circle interrupting the announcer's in-game win-loss voiceover lines has been fixed. But that's pretty much all of the main things that you might notice. The rest are all bug fixes and again you can go into the description and look for the article. It'll be the first link in the description and you can go check out everything but that's gonna about wrap it up. If you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button, subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.